2014, Destiny was released on the Sony PlayStation and Xbox. After playing the beta on Xbox, I was really looking forward to the game. I heard there was 10 years of content that could have been for the game. I don't know how true that was, but I was very excited. Yet when I got it, I loved it. I loved the aspect of having the Titan, Warlock, and Hunter subclasses and, and their subclasses, having the different aspects of how they played the game, being able to create your own character, being able to play in Crucible or raids with your teammates, clan, or even just randoms. I also love the fact that the visual aspects of the game were beautiful. The sound was great. The gameplay was great because any game you play, you have to be able to play it. It had great reaction to everything. There were just two things that I disliked about the game. And the first was the story. I mean, there was great aspects of the story with the raids and story missions that they gave you. But there were also some things that fell short that you had to actually find out by reading lore on the Bungie website. Now, as a gamer, I want to experience the game as I play and learn the storyline without having to go to Bungie's website and learn about it. I mean, you can do that for extra content, but not for the main storyline. Now, the second issue I had was with the grind. Now, I did enjoy the experience of raiding with my teammates or randoms, doing the Vault of Glass, and also getting your armor as you did, or special weapons, or exotics, as they say. I love that aspect. Um, the only thing I didn't like was it was hit or miss. So either you get your armor on the first try, or you get pieces of armor, and so on. I actually had to go six times and raid before I even got my armor pieces, but luckily I got all of them. But that wasn't the thing that bothered me. I mean, once you got them, you were very, very happy and you felt like you accomplished something. The thing was, as this game is a grinding game to level up, you take pride in the accomplishments you're doing. When you reach that level you want to reach, such as 30, you feel very confident, very happy, very, you know, relaxed. And actually, you feel relieved, you finally did it. And then the expansion came out for Crota. Now, when this came out, I was looking really forward to it. They had great trailers, great. They look awesome. And it actually isn't a bad raid. The issue I had with the game was that they are giving their levels 30s to new players that signed up and bought the game. Uh, to me, that was kind of weak because you just had all these players grind to get 30, go through the Vault of Glass. Now they're having the ease to get 30. So that was kind of, to me, was a kind of a turn off. And due to this, I decided to take a break from Destiny and try some other games. I did come back though for the Skolas expansion, and I really enjoyed that because of the co-op experience with my friends and also doing the different waves. And then I actually stuck around for the Taken King expansion, which I think is probably the best expansion Destiny has released. Really love that aspect, beat it on Prestige and also um, regular. It was probably one of my favorite expansions they released. I really love that part. It actually got me back into the game even more. And me and my friends still play Destiny even a long time after it was released, the expansion. And we played that in Crucible. Then Destiny 2 came out. Now, when Destiny 2 came out, I was ecstatic. I was very excited looking forward to the game. It looked great. They had new subclasses. They actually had a story that you didn't have to go read the lore off on Bungie. It looked awesome. Me and my friends were so excited to do it. Our clan was so excited to get into the game. And we actually eventually played it for hours and hours all the way up to the Forsaken expansion and this is where I started to get the feeling I got earlier with previous versions of Destiny particularly Destiny 1 and Crota players again were getting their light level for paying now I didn't think of it too much at the time because I was enjoying the content but after the grind and after there's not much to do until the new expansions are coming out you start to think about it more like if I would just sat around and wait for the game to become cheaper than the $60 that we pay, or more if you buy the legendary packs, then I could have just paid a cheaper price and got a higher level and got access to content. Yeah, I wouldn't experience those things with my friends right away or be the first to do it or do it the right way as some gamers like to say, but it becomes frustrating. It just becomes a money thing. And it just, to me, seems like you can just pay money to level up. And that's kind of turning me off again. And to the fact to the point that I didn't buy the expansion after and I don't see myself even playing Destiny anymore. I lost a taste for it, which is kind of, to me, bittersweet because I really enjoyed the game. It's just this aspect really turned me off. Why would I keep grinding if I can just pay? And 
in the end it became a thing to me such as clash of clans where you can just gem your way through by paying for gems or world of warcraft where you can pay to get supplies even league of legends now don't hate, get me wrong some of those games people love and some of those games people love to pay it's just to me just there's just no point of grinding it out if you can just pay to get higher things faster i didn't like that aspect and it really kind of turned me off from bungie which is kind of sad for me because i fell in love with bungie with the release of halo on the original xbox and destiny was a great game it had its flaws as i explained but this aspect was something that really turned me off was the pay to play now ea gets a lot a lot of stuff for having to pay to play and all of the bundles that you can create a player with more money the better stats or experiences your player can have etc but bungie doesn't really get looked at that way should it be looked at it that way should it be looked at another franchise or gaming franchise that is doing pay to play where they're giving players things that they pay more money i mean besides the extra downloadables of uh, taunts or even armor or gold pieces that some games give away do through your legendary packs this is a little bit different like i said you're getting levels to play and advance to play the new content while the players who grinded are actually just getting nothing they're getting told to buy the new content but they're not getting the fast track which they shouldn't be they should it should all be a grind for everybody i don't have a solution i don't know which way you can change this i don't know which way you can make it an even playing field i just don't like the pay to play aspect what do you think am i overreacting here is it something you agree on do you have a solution for it let me know down below in the comments and as always thanks for listening and have a great rest of your day